Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Welcome once again to Words of Pearls. Uh, this is Florencia Changajita. Uh, tonight's Word of Pearl, this evening's Word of Pearl, rather, is uh, Rainbow Promise. So as you can see the rainbow. Uh, I was doing the live before, sorry, I have to delete that one because I was doing the live and uh, Unfortunately, I was muted. So here we go again. Uh, it's going to be different, but it's the same message. Um, I was talking about how rainbows make me feel. And I had asked before, have you ever seen a rainbow? And how did it make you feel? For me, whenever I see rainbows, I am just encouraged. I feel hopeful. It always gives me hope and it gives me joy. It brings me joy whenever I see a rainbow, no matter where I am. And I'm usually seeing rainbows somewhere or another. I remember recently, in recent times, seeing a rainbow after it had rained. Um, I've seen rainbows in the water and, um, you know, but uh, in 2006, I saw a rainbow from one end to the other end. That was the first time I ever saw a full of rainbow. I've always seen a partial rainbow and always wondered where did it start and where did it end? But, you know, uh, seeing a rainbow, as I said before, makes me hopeful. I've been to waterfalls and seen the water with the sun allowing the the rain, a rainbow to form, and it gave me hope, and it, it encouraged me. That waterfall was a, a, a very high one. You had to go down to go up, and I did it because I was hopeful, and just being through things in life, whenever I see a rainbow, it encourages me, and I wanted you to share that with you and to ask, you know, recently during the pandemic, we've seen where there are neighbors who would, you know, put up rainbows, make rainbows just to encourage essential workers and, you know, folks who are going through their daily lives. So I know that rainbow um, bringing hope wasn't just for me, you know. Uh, I know there are others who, who, who share that sentiment of uh, seeing a rainbow and being hopeful. And I wanted to read you uh, in Genesis 9, 14 through 15, it says, it shall be when I bring the cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. Then will I remember my covenant with you. And that's God reminding us that every time we see a rainbow, that, hey, he's right there with us. And I uh, had told about how that in uh, 2017 through 2018 was a pretty rough year for me. It was a year, the whole year, uh, 2017, I never went anywhere and I was ill and I couldn't walk. Uh, and I had major surgery and I had an ostomy. I had, you know, because I couldn't use the bathroom the regular way. And I had, um, uh, I don't remember how many, but I had more than a dozen staples in the center of my stomach. And so um, not being able to walk, I was 106 pounds. I wasn't able to walk. I couldn't move by myself. I couldn't turn myself. I couldn't push the blankets off of me if I was too hot. I couldn't cover myself if I was too cold. And someone had to do it for me. But I remembered that the last time I had seen a rainbow before falling ill, that the Lord had made me a promise that no matter what it is that I went through, he would be right there with me and see me through it. And he has. And so as I lay there unable to do anything, I would remember that. And to know that there is a word and he makes a covenant with us. So I just wanted to encourage someone today to say, no matter what you're going through, whether it's an illness, you know, the pandemic is here. So, you know, we have uncertainties during these times and the uncertainties just doesn't rely around, around you know, oh, will we be wearing masks next new year? Can we travel? You know, it, it's not just around that because financially there are folks who are wondering, hey, 
you know, how am I going to make it? How am I going to pay my rent? You know, there are businesses that have gone under, there are businesses that are, have furloughed some of their workers, you know, so there are a lot of uncertainties, uncertainties in, in relationships, uncertainties with the people, you know, you're dating, uncertainties in marriage, uncertainties, just everywhere you turn, there are uncertainties. However, the one thing that we can be certain about is that when God makes us a promise, he keeps that promise. He keeps that promise. So you can trust him. You can rely on him. And remember, I, I, what I said before is that even if you do not see a rainbow in the sky, you can draw your own rainbow. I've drawn rainbows in some of my books, you know, you, or you could buy a rainbow or color the rainbow and put a backdrop with a rainbow, you know, just to keep yourself um, uplifted and keep yourself encouraged every time you see rainbow. At one point, my, uh, my children had <laughs> done artwork on the, the wall in, 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 in our hallway. And there was a, a, a once, a one section of it had a rainbow. So you couldn't miss it coming or going. And if you went out and didn't have a good day, the moment you walked in through the door, you'd see that rainbow and it would just spark that hope. It would be just like a thing was lifted off your shoulders, you know, the stress of the world would lift off your shoulders. So I just wanted to, to encourage someone today to say that, yeah, things get heavy sometimes. Yeah, they get dark. Some folks are grieving. Uh, recently, a member of our church just lost both parents like that, but God. And it is the love of family, the support of friends and the love of friends that helps us through these rough times and to know that above all, God really, really loves us and he's there for us. So I do hope that this time you are hearing and you did get the message and I just wanted to encourage someone. So stay encouraged. These are my words, words of pearls. And um, today's promise, uh, rainbow, today's word, rainbow promise. So um, share it with someone and I will um, upload this on YouTube. So my YouTube channel is Flo Changajita. If you know of someone who needs to hear this word, then once I've uploaded it to YouTube, why don't you go there and share it with them? You can you can text it to them, you can email it, you know, or send them there, whichever way you choose. But we're here to encourage each other. So I just wanted these are just my words of growth for today and wanted you to be encouraged. Know that I love you, love you, love you. And God loves you even more. So be joyful, be uplifted, and know that even though it's cloudy outside, the sun is shining behind those clouds. Have a blessed and a wonderful week.